In this lesson, we're going to learn how to count atoms, and to do that, you're use, going to use subscripts and coefficients to determine the amount of each atom in a compound. Subscripts are the little numbers after an element symbol in a compound. This little two means that we have two bromines, but because there's no little number after calcium, it means we just have one. So how many of each element are there in aluminum fluoride? Well, since there's no little number after aluminum, that means we have one aluminum, and the little three after our fluorine means that we have three fluorines. In this one, we have Fe2O3. So again, if we look at the little subscripts, the little two after the Fe means that we have two irons, and the little three means that we have three oxygens. So this one's a little bit trickier, but we'll start with the calcium. Since there's no little number, that means we have one calcium. And because we have this NO3 and we have it in brackets, that means we have to apply the two to both of our subscripts. So again, because there's no little number after nitrogen, that means we're gonna do one times two. So we have two nitrogens, and we have to do three times two for our oxygens, so that means we have six oxygens. Coefficients are big numbers in front of a compound, and what they do is we have to multiply each element by whatever that number is. So in this case, we have two, the two in front of the CABR2. So that means we have to multiply each of our subscripts by that big number out front. So we have two calciums, and two times two for our bromines, so we have four bromines. So let's look at this example. How many of each element are there in three Na2O? So again, we have to take the coefficient and we have to multiply it by our subscripts. So three times two means we have six sodium atoms. And if we do three times the imaginary one that's there, we have three oxygen atoms. Again, in this one, we have the trick because we have the thing in brackets. So this time, let's start with the calciums. We're gonna do two times the one, so we have two calcium atoms. And then inside the brackets, we would say that we have two nitrogens because we would do two times the one, but because we have the two in front, we then have to multiply it by two, which gives us a total of four nitrogen atoms. And if we just do the three times the two, that would get us six oxygens, and then we have to multiply it by the two in front, so we would have 12 oxygen atoms. So that was our quick review of how to use subscripts and coefficients to determine the amount of each atom in a compound. Now you're ready to move on to how to balance chemical equations.